critical examination gives rise to a number of creative ideas. Since all the ideas are not practicable, some of the ideas are required to be discarded and others are to be refined and developed. Development involves the analysis of the three phases, evaluation, investigation, and selection. The approaches that can be considered for development of the new method may include, eliminating all unnecessary operations, combining operations and elements, changing the sequence of operations, and, simplifying the necessary operations. Now, let's look into the steps involved in the development and selection of a new method. Step number 1, Evaluation. Evaluation phase tests the true worth of each alternative and thereby decide whether an idea should be pursued or discarded. It is, therefore, an exercise to shortlist the creative ideas. Step number 2, Investigation. Investigation explores as to how the ideas cleared at the evaluation stage suitably can be converted into practical suggestions. Investigation usually involves preparation of drawings, making prototypes, conducting trial runs. The aim is to test each idea for its economic and technical feasibility so that each suggestion is definite and supported by evidence of practicability. Investigation involves the testing technical and economic feasibility. And, step number 3, selection. Each alternative needs to be evaluated against a set of specific factors. The most commonly selected factors are investment required, production rate, manufacturing cost per piece, return on investment. Using point system, weights are then assigned to each of the factors, performance of each factor is then predicted for each alternative. This step is followed by evaluation process of each alternative against each specific factor. To select a preferred alternative, the points scored by each alternative against each specific factor are added. The alternative scoring the maximum is selected. 